Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a quick review on the Blogilates Fit Planner 2020. This is the planner, it comes with these little stickers but it came in a very nice box so let me show you. This is my new Fit Planner from Blogilates aka Cassie Ho. I ordered this so this is the 2020 planner so let's see what's inside. So as you open the box can see here it says this is the beginning of everything you want which is very nice and there is another box in the box so we just take it out as you take it out you can see there is another little exercise motivation so I think it's really cute I think it's very nice so basically just open this box there's stuff in it so let's put this away here is inside so you can see it says Blocilatis it has all these cute little designs of girls doing sports and now you have to open this box so it opens like this and here is the planner take it out it looks very cute it's also very heavy because there is actually a lot of paper and content in it as you can see it's very nice it has the same foil thing and this is the back, it says body lattice. So let's open it together. It looks really cute, I love the color. This is quite big, but it's good because you can actually hold on to. And then you open it like this and then the magic begins. So when you open the planner, you can see it's all about 2020. And you can have your short-term goals, your long-term goals, widest dreams and when you turn, there's a little bit more reflection about next year and the previous years. Here you can see all of 2020. A little inspiration space to write and doodle. And here's January, so you can have a nice design here. And you can add some intentions here. You can have food goals, fitness goals. And once you turn this page that says January, you can see the whole of January. I think this is a really good page and you can see all kinds of things here for example you can add your measurements you can add important dates here it's very good once you turn you can see the whole week so you can add morning afternoon you can do what kind of workouts you're planning to do you can write it down there's the gym focus and when you keep turning you have a little bit of doodle space here you can add what kind of food you have been eating morning for like breakfast. You can say, oh, I had something like this for breakfast, something for lunch, dinner, and some snacks. You can always track your water intake, which is very good, and a little bit of mood tracker and sleep tracker, which is very good. You can always add what kind of workout you have done as well. Then you have all these weekly challenges, which is pretty good. Here is for January, make a vision board for your biggest dreams to reach for this year, which is a very good thing to do. Next page keeps going on the week, so this is Monday to Sunday, right? Yeah, Monday to Sunday, then another weekly view is going to appear here, and then you can see the days themselves again. So you have two types of planning in this 2020 fit planner. You can see the whole week ahead of you, which is very useful, that I think. Or you can have just the daily planner to-do list, what you need to do. And once you skip through all of January, when you're done with it, then the next thing is going to be January recap. So every month has a little bit of recap session. And this month there is an apple cinnamon muffin recipe, which is really cute. Next one is February. This is the same as January. You open it, you see the whole of February. Just the same different color scheme, which is very, very nice. And let's see what's at the end. There is a rainbow pancake. Oh, that's very nice. Rainbow pancake cake recipe. <laughs> okay. And let me show you all the other pages. So I really like that they have 
these little tags with every month so basically you know where to turn and you have a good view of the whole month you can have a monthly body check-in which is very useful and each month has a nice design i really like these it's nice work and here's your may intention and at the end of every month just skip there let's see it's in june so here's the may recap and a little food recipe with a nice colored picture it's very good you can make this so this is june i really like this little ice cream cone looks very yummy so it's the same idea all around let's see july okay so this is another nice design so this is the design that's on the front i think yeah here see it's the same a little bit different color but the same let's see all this all this oh this is very nice this is very summery with bikinis and flamingos <laughs> that's very cute i like it let's see september probably back to school Oh, yeah back to school definitely October let's see what October says if I can get there oops okay October and let's see November it's a nice plant and December it's not very oh that's not Christmas themed okay so this is very nice little snacks it's really cute okay so the other thing is there are in the back some bunch of pages where you can actually write things down so this is the last one for december december recap and there is the goodbye 2020 you can say what were your biggest accomplishments for the year short-term goal did you achieve it long-term goal did you achieve it widest dream did you achieve your widest dream in 2020 i hope you did next page you are going to have a little reflection about this year and you're gonna have a glance at 2020 oh my god look at that there's a little inspiration space and there is a lot more of these just doodle pages where you can write things down which is very useful i'm gonna put in here some kind of a like a note so i know that from here i can do some little writing if i need to and here are the stickers so this is my only problem with this planner is that the stickers are very cute i love them like that's not a problem but they don't fit in they don't fit here last year's planner you were actually able to put this one into this little pocket this one not so much but you know something for something this is a smaller pocket like you can see here can't put as much in as last year you can still put some things in it's just good you can put here some cars or tickets whatever you need to but with last year's planner i actually saved the stickers here which i won't be able to do this time so you just keep it here it's the same size it has the planner as you can see so that's not a problem but look at all these stickers really cute so these are the stickers that come with the planner i really like them i think they are really really cute if i open it you can see they're not just one sheet of stickers which is pretty good there is like let's see one two three four so the same stickers but there are look at that they are shiny it's really cute i really like it so you can use these stickers in this planner or anywhere else wherever you want to but they really match the design i think it's really cute i like them a lot so this is an absolute recommendation from me i really really like this planner i like that they added the new inspiration pages and they just added an overall better layout i bought the planner in 2018 and 2019 as well so i have those videos here or here i'm going to link them 
so you can have a check. I think if you want this planner, if you don't have a planner for 2020, I can recommend it. It's really good. I've been using mine, the 2018 and the 2019, all year round. It's really, really good. So for me, it was not a question whether I buy this or not. And I really want to support Cassie and Blogilatis. I think she's doing an amazing job. So this is a recommendation from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much. Bye.